Uh, continuing with the word problem on numbers, this is an application on quadratic equation. Okay, so let's read the question together. So what does it say? <coughs> the denominator of a fraction is one more than twice the numerator. Now, you should be knowing what's the numerator, suppose, say 5 over 6. This is a numerator, and this is a denominator. This is only an example. Now, what are they, what are they saying? That the denominator is one more than twice the numerator. So, if we say the numerator, let numerator, let numerator be equal to x, what will be the denominator? The denominator is denominator. Denominator is equal to 1 more than twice the numerator. So first, this is what you have to look at. Twice the numerator would be 2x and 1 more than that. So the new denominator would be 2x plus 1. So this is what it means, 1 more than twice the numerator. Therefore, the fraction, a fraction, any fraction has a numerator and a denominator. So it's numerator over denominator. So that is x over 2x plus 1. So this is how you read the question. Try to break, break down each part or each sentence into smaller pieces. Okay, now the next part. If the sum of the fraction... Sum means addition. What they're saying, if you add the fraction and the reciprocal. Okay, now what is the reciprocal? The reciprocal of 5 over 6 is 6 over 5. So reciprocal basically means you swap the numbers around. That means the numerator becomes the denominator. And the denominator becomes numerator. But if you want to talk in a mathematical way, when are two numbers reciprocals? If the product is 1, so 5 over 6 times 6 over 5 is 1, so they are reciprocal of each other. So the reciprocal of this fraction, therefore, the reciprocal. of this would be 2x over 2x plus 1 over x, just like that. Okay, now the sum of the fraction and the reciprocal is 2 whole 16 over 21. What they're saying is this plus this is this uh, mixed number, or it's also called a vulgar fraction. Okay, so let me write that. So this is where your math starts now, or algebra starts. So x over 2x plus 1 plus uh, 2x plus 1 over x is equal to 2 whole uh, 16 over 21. I can do this in directly uh, without uh, sub you can cross multiply but it will become very difficult if you do like this. I'm going to do a substitution so I'm going to say let x over 2x plus 1 is m, which implies 2x plus 1 over x should become 1 over m. So if this is m, this is the reciprocal, so it's 1 over m. So this whole equation now becomes simple as m plus 1 over m is 2 whole 16 over 21. I want to do as much as possible without the calculator. So now you can, so this is, the same thing can be written as m squared over m. Okay, I'm multiplying both the numerator and denominator with m plus 1 over m is equal to, so you have to multiply this, so that is 21 times 2 is 42 plus 16 is so this is 58, sorry, 56, not 56, 58 over 21. 
So now the denominators are same, so you can say that is m squared plus 1 over m is equal to 58 over 21. Now cross multiply, so this is 21 m squared plus 21 m, 21 is equal to 58 m. Now this becomes 21 m squared minus 58 m plus 21 is equal to 0. Okay, so this has become a quadratic expression. Okay, now we use a calculator. You can use, go to polynomial. So let me get my calculator out. Menu, go to your equation menu. So this is a second degree polynomial. So your A is the coefficient of m squared, which is 21. Then you got a minus 58 there and a 21 there again. So then solve it. Uh, this is this is 7 thirds. Okay, so one answer is 7 thirds, and the other answer is 3 7. Okay, so you got two answers. M is 7 thirds, and other answer is 3 7. So I'll say now, therefore, you can use also the quadratic formula. If you know the quadratic formula, M, I don't want to, M is. Uh, if you remember the quadratic formula, the quadratic formula is uh, m is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so where your a is 21, your b is minus 58, and c is 21. So if you put, you'll get two answers. So I don't want to waste my time here. You can do that on your own. So this is m is 7 thirds or m is 3 sevenths. But we don't want m, we want x. Okay. So what is x? But m is 1 over x. So if m is 7 over 3, this implies uh, x would be 3 over 7 or and the reciprocal of this is 7 over 3 okay so your answer is x is 3 7 or okay so we got the answer this is one one whole thing this is of course this is your answer okay so you don't need to change it into x so I think this is the answer because we have changed the whole thing into M. Okay, so let's check our answer. So the fraction is, so here, which of them is true? Okay, because this cannot be true because here the denominator is less than the numerator. But you can say, but denominator, but denominator is greater than the numerator okay so we are going not going to accept this we're going to accept this so let us check our answer therefore the fraction that we want is 3 over 7 okay so let us check the answer whether we what the answer we got is right or wrong so if the fraction is so it's 3 7. The reciprocal would be 7 thirds. So 3 7, and that does make sense. You do double of, twice of 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So let's check. What they're saying is this plus this should be 2 whole, 2 whole 16 over. So let me get my calculator out. So you got 3 ABC. 7 plus 7 ABC 3 is if you change this into mixed number okay uh, so this is 3 sorry I'll delete this 3 ABC 7 plus 7 ABC 3 is 58 over 20, 21 so let me look at my setting 
uh, this should be in A, B, C. Okay. Now, yeah, two whole, 16 over 21. So we got the answer. See you in the next video.